guys a brief video on uh, travel to thailand and uh, this information more specific for indian travelers the good news as you can see is thailand no covid related restrictions for indian travelers so indians coming into thailand now free just the visa and the other requirements but none of the covid related requirements remain okay that's the good news <clears throat> now we come to something that's not exactly bad but uh, could mean some changes in your plans the tourism authority of thailand the tat and its official release has urged all passengers traveling back to india to carry out an rt pcr test within 72 hours of departure that is when you fly from thailand to india okay you need to take an rt pcr test and have a negative result 72 hours before you within 72 hours before your flight to india now this uh, requirement is being put by the indian government okay to uh, contain uh, covid resurgence in india etc uh, so i've seen a lot of groups of indians in thailand tourism thailand uh, thai travel etc where indians have currently in thailand have been asking whether the rt pcr test is really necessary uh, the point is that the answers are vague the answers are many some of the people say that they have got checked for the certificate some of them say no but a rule is a rule and if you know india i would suggest that you do the test and start your journey back from thailand to india if that test certificate proves you to be covid negative do not take a chance and fly because it could be really messy at the indian airports okay number one number two is if lots of indians travel from thailand to india without that rt pcr negative certificate we might see a situation where the indian where the uh, airline offices in india request the airline offices in thailand to check the rt pcr negative report in thailand for those traveling back to india so which means that you might not be able to take the flight back at all okay uh, i do understand and uh, it's very true that the cost of doing a rt pcr test in thailand is expensive as compared to what it is in india i think in india it is it costs roughly around uh, 200 or 250 baht okay, if you can but in thailand i do not think anybody is going to give you an rt pcr report for less than maybe 1000 or 1500 baht so you 2.5 times that into rupees okay and uh, the other thing is if you wait till the last minute and you ask for an urgent um, report you pay much more than that probably double or even more than that so be smart and do this rt pcr report before you travel the good news for the thai government is that most or a very large proportion of tourists in 2022 and i'm sure it will continue in 2023 a large proportion of tourists international tourists to thailand have been coming from india which is good okay everybody is having a good time and everybody is enjoying and the economy is recovering and you will be enjoying <coughs> in a wonderful country wonderful people wonderful food wonderful places wonderful everything okay uh, on the other side there are some reports that some indians might cancel their tour to thailand because of this requirement of the rt pcr negative report requirement well i would say personal opinions because we are reaching a point mind you where we might see more countries 
uh, impose some form of checks to curtail the spread of COVID, either for all countries or for some countries, we are going to see that stage. Now, Thailand is preparing for something that uh, China is opening up. And Thailand expects the Chinese tourists, the number of Chinese tourists to gradually surge. And definitely the Indians and the Chinese make up a huge percentage of the uh, international tourists to Thailand. And the Indians do a lot of shopping, okay, and uh, hotel bookings. And uh, the good thing about the Indian tourists is that hotels are booked at all levels. I mean, in the budget range, in the high range, in the top range. And uh, a lot of wealthy Indians arrange family marriages, etc., in Thailand. Hua Hin, a famous place for that. So, all in all, Thailand is looking at some very good prospects from uh, Indian travelers. And I do hope that the Indians try to do the same and attract international travelers, not only from Thailand, but from across the world, because India has some wonderful places. Okay, so just to summarize this before getting diverted into something else, make sure that you do your RT PCR test. If you happen to be traveling to India from Thailand within 72 hours of your departure from Thailand. Okay, now the same rule should apply if you uh, fly, let's say, from Japan and you make a stop over in Bangkok and then you travel to India. I think the same rule applies. Okay. So I don't understand how it's going to work if your journey is very long and you take you have a eight hour break in Thailand. What exactly are you going to do? But like I said, the confusion will slowly clear up. And uh, if you are flying through Thailand, going to India, flying through Thailand from any other place, I would suggest that you contact the Indian embassy in that place and ask them what needs to be done about this RT-PCR certificate because your last port of departure would be somewhere in Thailand. Okay, because the rule simply says that anyone, anyone, Indian or non-Indian arriving from Thailand to India needs an RT-PCR test, negative report. So that's the rule. So if you have been traveling to some other nations, some other countries, and would be spending, let's say, five, six, or eight hours in Thailand and then travel forward and go to India. I'm quite sure that the Indians expect that RT PCR certificate from you. But just how that's going to work out with, if you're in the case that uh, if you happen to be in a situation where you're in, the, in a Thai airport for five hours or six hours, you need an RT PCR test. I'm not sure. So check out with the country in which you are first starting your journey clear up this and then make your journey okay if you spend a night or if you come out of the airport the thai airports and then take another connecting flight and continue your journey you are obviously expected to take that certificate so don't avoid it okay guys that's it have fun take care